Hi there. Google Forms provides several different types of questions. This is a form that I created to illustrate the different types of questions and what they would look like from a participant's perspective. A creator of a Google Form can add as many questions as they would like and they can mix up the various types depending on the need. So the first type of question we have is the standard multiple choice. So you ask the question and then you give a list of predetermined options. There is the ability to put an other option in as well. You will notice as I go through the question types, some of them have this little red star. The red star means that it's a required question and the participant cannot submit the form until that question has been answered. The next two types of questions are text and paragraph text. A text question allows a respondent to answer with a word or short phrase. It is not for a lot of text. So this is a good question if you were to ask a participant's name. Down here is a paragraph text question. These allow the respondents to type as much as they need to and will even include a scroll bar if the person types a great deal of text. The next type of question is the check box question. So these also have predetermined answers. However, you can choose more than one. And again, you can add the other where they could add something that may not be there. So after checkboxes, we have choose from a list. This is similar to the multiple choice question, whereas there's predetermined answers and the respondent can choose one. However, it hides the list until the person is on that question. It's very nice to keep your form organized so you don't have a long list of options cluttering your form. The next type of question is the scale question. So they give you a scale from 1 to 5 and the creator determines the criteria. So the criteria on this one, a 1 would be what's Google Apps? I have no idea. And a 5 would be I'm a Google Apps guru. The next question is a grid. So this allows the creator to put multiple options in and so you can easily see the results for all the information. It's a great way if you need to compare different options. The last two question types are date and time. Date allows respondents to choose a day from a calendar. Oops. And the date question also allows you to add a time if you want. So I could say add 4 o'clock and we'll make that definitely not a.m. We'll make it p.m. If you didn't need the date, you could ask just a time question. And as you probably already figured out, that will allow a participant to input a time and submit that. Last, there is an add file question type. This allows participants to upload a document, a presentation, an image, a PDF. So what they would do is they would just click add file and they can drag or select it from their computer. The nice thing about this type of question is that it will save anything that is uploaded to the form creator's Google Drive. So since I created this form, all the pictures of a cylinder will be uploaded to my Google Drive. Participants have to log in in order to upload. Another nice thing is from the creator's point of view, Here's the question. Please upload a picture of a cylinder. The creator of the form has the ability to 
filter it by file types. So if I only want my participants to be able to upload a document or a spreadsheet, I can click those. If it doesn't matter, I can just turn that off. I can determine as the creator how many files the participants are allowed to upload and the file size. So you have one megabyte up to 10 gigabytes. And since it's required, they will have to upload this before they can submit the final form. Now that the form is completed, they would just click Submit. However, as long as all the questions with the red star were answered. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.